problem, officer? You littered back there. I did. Oh, you mean that apple? I can explain that. I was driving along, I hit this bump in the road. The apple bounced right out of my hand. Never mind the song and dance, your driver's license and registration, please. No, wait a minute. I hit this bump in the road, the apple bounced. It, it was right in my hand, it bounced right out the door. Your driver's license and registration. You got it. Let's see here we go. What is this? Oh, that's my Communist Party membership card. I just joined for the softball league. Only team in the league with cheerleaders. Big fun. Here we go. Is this you? Oh, yeah. I photograph a whole lot better than I look. Wait a minute, you're really serious. You're really gonna give me a ticket? I certainly am, for now. For the looks of this vehicle, I'm gonna write you several tickets. Several tickets? Look, why don't we just make this easy? Why don't you just pistol whip me, okay? If you don't keep your mouth shut, we're gonna deliver you right down to the station house. Fine, anything you say, sir. I'm not a sir, I'm a man. Really? <laughs> when you should wear a ponytail, because this could get really confusing. Come on, I don't go sniffing around your things, do I? What is this powder? Fertilizer. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Shit! Exactly. You're in big trouble now, mister. <laughs> big trouble. It's incredible. Some higher power must really want the three of us to be together. You got a car, too, huh, wise ass? You don't park any better than you drive, do you? What are you talking about? This car is parked in front of a hydrant. Well, I can see that. Now, I want you to move this car. Why? Because you're breaking the law. No, I'm not. Deputy Morris, I think this car is loaded with violations, don't you? Yeah. Like this broken tail light. <laughs> Deputy Morris, what about that malfunctioning headlight? <laughs> How do you like that? You guys are nutty. I've had it with you, punk. I just don't understand it. I always loved you guys on chips. What do you think you're doing, Halleck? On their behalf, sir, may I say this car was evil, possessed of Satan. It had to be destroyed. Shut up! Well, sir, you see, I asked him to move his car. It's not I... his car, Halleck. It's not? It's mine! Yours? I'll see the both of you first thing in the morning in my office. Uh-oh. Sounds like trouble, kids. Don't worry. Don't let it get you down. Life goes on. You guys will bounce back. I can feel it. 
You're that kind of people. Listen, I'll be seeing your kids around. Speaking of great guys, good evening, kids. How are you? I'm doing a lot better than you, Mr. Cannon. I understand your business is going down the drain. Too bad. Yeah. Well, I can always get another job. You, on the other hand, civil servant, are stuck in this shitty nowhere traffic school for the rest of your life. Forever. I am sick of you, Mr. Cannon. Fine. Why don't you do something about it? I'm off duty. Why don't we just step right over here and settle this? Fine, right now. Dana, why did you get him going? He's going to kill you. Yeah, I might have gone too far. What are you going to do? Let's find out. Over here, Cannon. Oh, excellent choice. So, what's it gonna be? Boxing? Karate? Wrestling? You kidding? Look, Wimp. Oh, Jesus. You come on like this big, macho, strong man. How about a real test of strength? How about arm wrestling? <laughs> Sounds great. I better warn you, Cannon. I happen to be Western Division arm wrestling champion, so don't be surprised when I break your arm in two. Sounds fun. Come on, dickhead. Okay, on three. One, two, ah, three. Thank you. 